Hi, boys and girls. Well, like we said above when we were reading the story, there was talk about a Christmas cracker and what a Christmas cracker is. Well, the Christmas cracker looks just like this. And you will usually put it on the dining table. And there's one for each person who sits at the table. And then when you're all seated at the table, then you turn to the person next to you. And inside here, there is a little brown strip. It's a little bit hard to see. There it is. And each person has one. And each of you takes hold of that little brown strip. And then you pull it and the cracker goes snap. And inside, there are some gifts or some treats for the person who was seated at that spot at the table. So everybody gets a Christmas cracker right with them at their spot at the table. And that always happens in a lot of English countries and also happens to be in New Zealand too. So we're going to look at making a Christmas cracker. So the first thing you're going to need to do is... You will need a rectangle of some kind of strong paper or cardboard. I have some cardstock here. I'm going to take my rectangle and I'm going to roll it to create a 3D shape. So it went from a 2D rectangle to a 3D cylinder. And to hold my cylinder in place, I am going to use my good friend, the tape. So I'm going to take my piece of tape and close up my cylinder. And I'll do that at each end and one in the middle just to make sure that it's nice and strong. So I've got this one and tuck that in there. Get another piece of tape to hold it in place. And here is my tube, my cylinder. You can see it down through, through there. So I can see you and you can see me. We took our 2D shape, we made it into a 3D shape. It takes up space, has volume. Now the next thing I need to do is get the items that I would put inside my cracker. And for me, I know that a Christmas cracker always has a crown in it. And the reason it has a crown in it is to signify the three wise men that came to bring gifts to the baby Jesus. So there is a crown which represents the three wise men. So I'm going to roll that up and put that inside my cylinder. By the way, I'm making my cracker for Mr. Clapp, so don't tell him what's inside it. I'm going to need to roll that just a little bit tighter so that it will fit inside my cylinder. All right, put that inside my cylinder. There it goes. All right, next thing you have in there is you always have a joke. And the joke is, it could be a good joke, it could be a bad joke, but the joke is to bring people together in laughter and joyous times. So I couldn't decide which joke I liked the best, so I think I'm gonna have you help me pick. So my first joke that I wanted to put in there was, what do you get if you cross Santa with a duck? Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you think you'll get if you cross Santa Claus with a duck? A Christmas quacker. <laughs> Should I pick that one and put it in there? No? Oh, okay, we'll try another one. Um, what did the ocean say when it saw Santa. Mm -hmm. What did the ocean say when it saw Santa? Nothing. It just waved. Ah! <laughs> Not that one. Okay, well, let's try this one. Who delivers gifts to the cats in the desert? Oh, come on. Who delivers the gifts to the cats in the desert? Sandy Claus. <laughs> that one's the winner. Okay, good. All right, so I'll roll up the, the joke. Okay, and we'll put that one in there. 
And then the last thing that goes in the Christmas cracker is a small trinket or a gift. It doesn't have to be anything big or special. And the more expensive the Christmas cracker, the better the gift inside. But for me, I made Mr. Clap a little wreath that he can hang on the tree. And the nice thing about this is it's made on springy wire so I can squish it up so that it will fit inside my Christmas cracker. So now everything is inside my Christmas cracker. Then the next thing that I do is I get to wrap it. So here's the paper I chose. I chose this one because it's nice and chilly. Um, winter is coming. There we go. I'm going to put that on the paper. I'm going to roll it up. And then make sure that's rolled a bit tighter. There we go. And I am going to tape it shut. Two pieces of tape there. Two pieces of tape here. And there we go. All right. And it sticks out. It's longer than the cylinder that's inside because I need to scrunch the end. I need to scrunch this part. Now that that's scrunched, you get some ribbon to tie around that. This part you might need some help with because tying knots, it took me a long time to tie a knot. I had to practice, practice, practice. I had to persevere. I had to never give up, never surrender. And then I learned how to tie the bows. And yeah, it takes a long time to learn how to do it. And sometimes it can be really fiddly. So don't be surprised if it gets really tricky and frustrating. So what I did at this end, I also have to do at this end. So I'm gonna scrunch that, put a little ribbon around there. Make sure that I tie this one tightly because I don't want the gifts to come out. Now my Christmas cracker is not going to be quite the same as a real Christmas cracker because I don't have the banger part where you pull the little brown cardboard to make it go pop or bang. But my Christmas cracker is still a pretty good decoration for the table and it will still be a nice surprise for Mr. Clap when he opens it when we're sitting down to eat our Christmas dinner. Well, if we were in England, we would have some figgy pudding because they have a rich fruit pudding that's made out of figs. And it also has a coin that hides in there. But the Christmas cracker is still good. I like this idea. And it looks pretty good, almost as good as a real Christmas cracker. So go ahead, my friends. See if you can find the materials to create your own Christmas cracker. Remember, it needs a crown in it. It needs a really funny joke in it, like the one I have in here. And a little trinket or a gift that you'd want to give someone and then tie the ends up for the person to open. All right, my friends, have a good time making your Christmas cracker. Hmm, I wonder what you will have inside your Christmas crackers. Hmm, I wonder what you would like or what you think is inside this Christmas cracker. Hmm, well, I've got a job for you, an assignment. And that is, in my cracker, I would like to find, well, what would you like to find? And I see some sight words in there. In my, I like to, those are all sight words. In my cracker, I would like to find, what would you like to find in your cracker? Write about it, share it with me. Hmm, I wonder if I could find an elephant in a cracker. That would have to be a pretty big cracker, but maybe I could do it. Or maybe, hmm, maybe I could finally get that horse I always wanted. Yeah, that's what I would like to find in my cracker.